Hi, this is Frances Blintorsen. I am co-author of the Real Estate Social Media Policy and Procedure Manual, and this is a social media risk management tip. There's a lot of discussion about online theft, and real estate digital property is up for grabs. Brokers are asking, who's stealing our listings data? Who's publishing our photographs without our permission? Is it Trulia? Is it Zillow? Is it Realtor.com? No. What if I told you there are thousands of real estate agents online stealing other agents' photos in a massive assault on the Realtor Code of Ethics and MLS rules everywhere in copyright law? And most of these agents are very nice people who probably just don't have a clue that they're violating the Code of Ethics, that they're out of compliance with their MLS, and they're breaking copyright law. Now, I know the National Association of Realtors has mandatory ethics training, but you know what? It's not working, and it's putting brokers at risk. Let me show you. Uh, but, but before I re reveal the culprits, let me ask you an important question. Does your office have a written policy, a comprehensive policy that prevents agents from violating code of ethics and mandates compliance with MLS rules and, you know, and abiding by the law? Does your policy spell out precisely what happens when an agent is caught misbehaving? Do you offer training to support this? And if you're a real estate broker, I want you to think for a minute, how would you feel if you found out your agents were taking part in shenanigans that are unethical, do, don't comply with MLS rules, and, and violate copyright law? You might feel like things are out of control. So I'm going to show you how to get things back in control shortly. And first, I'm going to show you some Facebook pages where countless agents share MLS images illegally, and they're crossing ethical lines that will astound you, and they're doing this every single day. Here's a Facebook page with almost 3,000 likes, and I'm guessing most of them are realtors. Let's be clear, it's, it, you know, it's neither illegal nor unethical to like a Facebook page. What's illegal and unethical is unauthorized sharing and improper engagement. I'm not saying it's unethical to like a page. Personally, I have a hard time liking a page that's all about pilfering other people's intellectual property. And interestingly enough, this page was not created by a rogue agent. This page was created by a licensed real estate broker in Arizona. You know, I can dig that people are upset with bad MLS photos. I hate bad MLS photos as much as the next guy or gal, but there are lots of problems with this page. Start here. The broker's websites and address are listed. So is his name. But there's no mention of his brokerage anywhere, and I don't think Arizona state regulators like it much when brokers and agents leave their brokerage name off their websites. You know, and by, by the way, a Facebook fan page about real estate is a real estate website. Uh, according to Arizona real estate regulators and according to real estate regulators in most states. Alright, so as I said, I, I hate bad MLS photos as much as the next guy, but I hate really bad MLS photos even more, and guess what? There's a page for that, too. Technically, it's not a page as much as it is a group, according to Facebook. Of course, according to real estate regulators, it's a real estate website. There are more than 2,000 members in this Facebook group, and they share lots of terrible photos, even though most of them probably don't have permission to share. Let's take a look at this page. Yeah, it's another realtor. Let's take a look at one of the posts just for the heck of it. Here's one that starts with some disparaging remarks about the way an agent is doing business. Naturally, agents are quick to chime in. Uh, if you're a realtor, you have probably done some training about the Realtor Code of Ethics and you know this would probably qualify as a violation. Even if hundreds of people are doing the same thing on the same page, and even if the realtor you're talking about is a total loser, you're not allowed to make disparaging remarks about another realtor in public, even if the other realtor is a jerk. Period. I'm beginning to think agent disparagement is the new block on Facebook. You know, the other day I read a blog post written by a realtor who was complaining about the press and broadcast media, about some television show that paints a terrible picture of real estate agents, and 
you know, it seems to me agents do a pretty good job trashing each other. They don't need help in that department. Now let's take a closer look at that photo. There was a watermark placed there when the listing was processed in the multiple listing service. And it looks like that was placed by the Southland Regional Association of Realtors. And it looks like they have rules and regs for their MLS. Uh, ha! There it is, page 18, photos in the MLS. Let's see what the Southland has to say about photos in their MLS. By submitting photographs to the MLS, the participant and or subscriber represents and warrants that he or she either owns the rights to reproduce and display such photographs or has procured such rights from the appropriate party and has the authority to grant and hereby grants the MLS and the other participants and subscribers the right to reproduce and display the photograph in accordance with these rules and regulations. Okay. Use of photographic media by a subsequent listing agent requires prior written authorization from the originating participant and or subscriber or other appropriate party with the legal right to reproduce and display such photographs. That means when a listing expires, the new listing agent must get written permission from the original listing agent before she can use the same photos. Uh, how do you think that applies to, uh, to swiping photos for the express purpose of disparaging the other realtor? I don't see anything in the MLS rules that talk about that, do you? What are you doing as a broker to be sure your listings are safe? Even the ones with terrible photos. What are you doing to be sure your own agents are not engaged in the kind of shenanigans we're talking about here? The best first step is a written social media policy. And it just so happens my policy is the best in the business. Not only do you get a complete social media policy you can copy and paste, you get a broker implementation guide. And by the way, that guide served as the outline for the CRP class about social media risk management. You also get videos and other resources you can use for in-house training and compliance. If you don't have this yet, the time is now to get on top of this. Take control. Reduce your risk. Let's face it, everyone is happier and everyone makes more money in real estate when there's less to do about shenanigans and more to do about sales. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, and I'll see you in our next video.